Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at Pro Animation Add-ons for Pro Users. Becoming a Pro Blender user means you can choose when to do things the hard way or opt for more easier ways that other pros are using to finish your projects on time. Today, let's look at these amazing tools that Blender animators rely on to make their work easier and faster without compromising on quality. We all know blocking is the first step to creating environments and game level designs, but did you know that professionals use blocking as a way to create characters as well? ZBrush has dedicated tools just for blocking and it's about time Blader gets these features. Block Surfaces is an add-on that lets you quickly block out characters in a low effort and quick way using simple primitive shapes like ZBrush does. You can later sculpt these into highly detailed models using the block surfaces as a starting base. These blocking surfaces can also be used for animation as they are a very close approximation of the final thing. Number two, Gamain Tool. If you have ever used Claw or Motherless Designer, you're going to appreciate this add-on even more. Blender Cloth Simulation has always lacked important features like cloth pinching, cloth adjustment during simulations, and a simple way to create garment patterns using curves and sewing them together. These are all features the garment add-on brings to Blender. With this add-on, you will start making quite realistic simulations and clothes that have a lot of detail. If you animate characters and you have a phone, you can save hundreds of hours using this add-on. It can map facial expressions and performances from your face to any character in Blender, and setting it up is easy too. You just align the face mesh to your character and the add-on handles the rest. Now all you have to do is act, speak, and do all your funny faces so you can see a mirror version of you inside Blender. This is animation layers and it works like you expect it. With this add-on, you can create different actions in a single animation on different layers like you would in Photoshop just for animation. For example, if you are animating a dog walking, that could be on layer 1 and if you want the dog to look on the left while walking, you can just add that animation on layer 2 and then layer more and more animations like smiling, jumping, rolling and more. And at any time, if you want to remove any animation or action, you can simply delete or edit the layer of that specific action without disrupting the other layers. The other layers will stay intact and the animation will still play as it was only without the layer you have just removed. You can also simply just disable or turn off the actions or reduce the influence that layer has on the overall animation. You can merge, bake, duplicate layers to edit them and add nuance actions into them, which enriches your animations. It's simply Photoshop, but for animation. Number five, we have Sketch and Cage. If you are making sterilized animation, you're going to love this add-on because what it shows is that you don't always need a rig to animate everything, especially if you're animating non-living objects. You can easily trace the object you want to animate using the tools provided by the add-on to create a simple approximation of your target object. The new traced object will now become your morph object, which will deform the original object, making rigging unnecessary for simple things. Like Number six, a good character rig can have over 50 bones and even more for controlling the character. This can be too much to work with. So this add-on helps you hide all the bones, leaving you with just a mesh. Now, to rig the mesh or animate the mesh, all you have to do is select any part of the mesh you want to move and the add-on will automatically select the primary control bones for that part of the mesh, giving you all the advantages of rigging a character without the clutter that comes with rigging controls and amateurs. Number seven, rig him up. There are hundreds of free motion capture animations on the internet. Unfortunately, they never work with custom rigs or rigs you have made yourself. These motion capture animations usually just want to work with the bone rigs that they were captured for. This makes public animation libraries like Mixamo or Mocha Online unusable for a lot of custom rigs. This rig map add-on makes them work with any rig from anywhere, whether you made it yourself or you just borrowed it from somewhere. Number eight, and this is Shot Manager. Right now, if you wanted to make a Blender movie with a day and a night time scene where the bedroom has different types of lighting for the night and daytime, you would need two separate projects or blend files, or you would have to animate the lights, move objects around, and hope you don't miss anything that will break continuity. Short Manager is the add-on that can remove that stressing. If you're using Short Manager, you can set this up in a single project file. The add-on will remember what objects or settings are associated with the different scene or time of day, saving you a lot of work. Number nine, Exposer. If you're animating characters with a full rig, 
that has face controls, fingers and more, you'll be looking at over 60 bones every time. So selecting the right bone becomes a hassle. It's for this reason that we looked at the skin selection add-on that lets you hide all the bones so that you can use the mesh to animate your objects. But for fine controls like facial expressions, you might want to see the control bones themselves. This is what Expose is for. It creates a separate UI interface in a pop-up window that floats above Blender. This is where you're going to see all your control bones, leaving your main viewport decluttered and free of any bonds so that you can just see the final mesh. Number 10, we have Grab It. If you have ever tried animation, you know that animating a character, grabbing or holding something and then letting it go is not a straightforward thing and it can sometimes feel impossible to do. This is the reason for the Grab It script. It's an add-on that just makes it easier and straightforward. Number 11, we have Motion Train 3D. In a lot of 3D applications, you can see your F curves or animation curves directly in the viewport and can even adjust or animate them directly in your 3D viewport. This functionality is not available in Blender unless you install an add-on like Motion Trail. It gives you the same controls you have in your timeline within your 3D viewport so that you can visually see the path your object is going to take and adjust it as you want without even opening up the timeline. AutoRig Pro Rig Library you can animate any type of character you want from dinosaurs, birds, cats, spiders, dogs, dragons, snakes, and more. If you have a mesh for it, the AutoRig Pro Rig library has a rig for it. It works best on the most popular rigging add-on, AutoRig Pro, and comes with over 24 rigs that you can easily customize to fit what you are making. Thank you for watching. Those were some of the Pro Animation add-ons that most animators use in Blender to speed up their animation process without sacrificing or compromising on the quality of animation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.